A South African man's plan to fly 80 white rhino to Australia in a bid to save the species has been met with mixed reaction. Ray Dearlove and his Australian Rhino Project are in the process of raising millions of dollars to get the wildlife down under. While some agree that establishing a breeding herd of rhinos in Australia is a viable solution, others say it's a waste of money. CCTV's Travis Andrews filed this report. It seems like this that have conservationists worried. South Africa's rhino population is being killed off one by one, hunted down by poachers, dehorned and left for dead. 363 rhino have been killed in South Africa this year alone. Rhinos are going to become extinct if we carry on doing what we've always done. We're losing over a thousand rhinos per annum. Extinction, we're looking current rates of, of poaching anything between seven and ten years. It's an indictment not just to South Africa, but it's an indictment to humanity. So we need to be doing whatever needs to be done to save these animals. A South African man living in Australia believes he may have found a solution. Radio Love is planning to airlift 80 white rhino from mainly privately owned game reserves to a safari park in Australia. It's a mammoth task that's going to cost millions and take up to five years to complete. It's an expensive exercise. Um, according to him, approximately 75,000 US dollars per animal. Uh, there are quarantines involved on both sides, both in Australia and here. But why do I endorse it? Insurance policy is one thing, but also there is very little threat of the rhinos being poached in Australia. There is not abject poverty surrounding national parks in Australia, and they are going to be going to what is called IPZs, or Intensive Protective Zones, uh, location unknown. But not everyone agrees. Some conservationists think the money would be better spent beefing up security at South African game farms. Well, I think there needs to be a balance. And, and the fact is that there, there are 20,000 white rhinos in Africa and there's still a space for a lot more um, with, with good, secure habitat for them. So, so we would suggest that rather than giving the message um, that Africa is less important, and that focus could still be retained there. Despite the criticism, Dear Love and the Australian Rhino Project are pushing on with their plan and have already secured some funds to get started. The first six rhinos are expected to be airlifted to their new home in Australia by the end of this year, where they will form the beginning of what is hoped to be a seed bank to breed future generations of rhinos. That was Andrew CCTV, Cape Town.